So I recently made a video called, Is the Gospel Anti-Racist? And uh, I claim that the gospel is at minimum anti-racist because the New Testament proclaims that God's love is absolutely universal with no preconditions required whatsoever, whether they be moral or cultural or biological or ethnic. Um, and so I made the argument that the gospel is at minimum anti-racist and you can find that video here. And I wanted to clarify what I meant by the gospel and <clears throat> I do not mean uh, the Bible and I don't even mean the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which are called the gospels. What I mean by the gospel is the concrete reality that the story and significance of Jesus points to, or at least the, the vision that the story and significance of Jesus gives to humanity. So I thought of a little analogy for the relationship between the Bible on the one hand and the gospel on the other, and I thought of a picture of my dog. And his name is Philo, and this is a picture of Philo. And as you can tell from the picture, Philo is freaking awesome. But no matter how awesome a picture of Philo is, there is nothing that can compare to the, to the real Philo. This is the real Philo, and he is much, much better than just a picture of Philo because I can be with him, throw the Frisbee for him. The real Philo is much better than just a picture, and that's kind of like the difference between the Bible that's nothing but... Uh, ink on paper and the gospel which is supposed to be a real concrete situation in the real world so that's what I meant by the gospel I, I don't mean the church I don't mean church history I don't mean Bible interpreters through history because there's a lot of racism through all of that uh, so it would be really difficult and impossible to claim that any of that is is anti-racist um, but the but the gospel the vision for humanity for the of the significance uh, and story of Jesus, that uh, I think is. So in the next video that will come out in the next couple of days, um, I take a key passage from Paul again in order to uh, think about what he might have meant and uh, his core understanding of an image of God and also of the gospel. So look for that to come out in a couple of days.